So I was recently banned from a popular Tyrgis Discord server and a clan called Nova Clan where I was served as a co-leader and admin. But later I was banned from the clan as they found out my 4 year old rumor of me being a pedo. So while I was explaining the situation to the clan admin, he took screenshots of specific words out of the contents and cropped it, making it seem like I admitted of being a pedophile, which is completely false, and he leaked it which reached out to my newbies, the owner of the popular 1.19 PvP tier beast community, who then banned me without clarifying the facts. This will be my last time to address the ongoing rumors as false which labels me as a pedophile. Because people who know that I am not a pedo are aware but those who doesn't know are unaware about the full context and will consistently misunderstand and it will be pain to explain each and every individual. So this video is for both the people who are aware and unaware. So first let's clarify what happened in the DMs. Luke messaged me to ask about the situation and I was explaining and clearing up his misunderstandings. But however as I continued he selectively took screenshots of certain chats and misrepresented them making it seem like I admitted to be a pedo which isn't true. These are the cropped screenshots he sent to his staff chat and these are the full chats with context. I explained him the whole situation but all he did was crop the screenshots. He didn't even send the full chat. So you can understand the level of misunderstanding it will create. These cropped screenshots were reached out to bees and he without even clarifying the facts banned me and put me in blacklist. This screenshot shows the message sent to bees to get me banned. In it, you can see that Solar falsely accusing me of admitting that I'm a pedo. This dumbass is the one making false accusations against me and defaming me for no reason because there's no point of taking the matter to tier list. The matter is under the boundaries of the clans, so what was the point of dragging the matter to tier list? Sending only half cropped screenshots is enough to prove that it was intentionally done to defame me. To understand better what I mean, imagine a scenario where a man says, I have killed him but in defense. But if they remove but in defense and only use I have killed him, it changes the whole meaning. It's the same situation here. They removed the main point of my sentence and altered my sentence making it something else and showed it like I have said something else. Main reason they banned me is because they said that I sent you a bone the pick. But in reality it was the screenshots from my own video where I showed how the boner pick was googled and it isn't mine. He first asked himself that what image and before I sent him the pic he wrote I am 14. Which I didn't notice because I was focused on explaining and clearing out his doubts that it didn't came in my notice. Even in the video I had to put the a screenshot of the boner pick anyway because many people were assuming that it's mine which isn't. Three years ago a person named Haraka pretended to be a girl and asked me to be friends. I initially doubted because it's unusual for girls to message first especially with romantic intentions within five minutes. My suspiciousness was confirmed when I realized it was Haraka. He changed his username but he forgot to change his profile picture. And I saw him in a staff VC with other members which confirmed me they were trolling me. So I decided to act like I didn't knew and plan to turn the tables on them later. But I didn't anticipate it becoming such a big issue. My plan was to expose their failed troll attempt. But they ended the conversation before I could. So while the conversation was going on, Haraka made his main move and asked me for, for a picture of my dick. <coughs> Despite my repeated questions confirming if he really wanted it, he kept insisting. So I ended up finding a boner picture on Google and sending it to him. Even though he was asking 
for a picture of a dick i chose to send him a picture of boner that to in pants instead to keep the conversation from becoming too vulgar now these kids were denying that how can i see a private vc channel and they argued about it so to prove my point better i went on a discord server with an active private vc channel as you can see when i hover my mouse pointer over the logo it displays the people who are in the vc no matter if the vc is private or public it will still show it now they are claiming that even though i sent the picture as a troll i still sent it and i'm not even denying it yes i sent it i'm saying on the video that i sent it but how does it prove that i am a pedo my two main discord accounts got banned because i sent the pictures which went against the discord rules and they reported it i agree with the decision but still how does sending pictures prove that i am a pedo on discord many people engage in trolling with adult contents and they don't get reported because their humor aligns with the community's norms you all know very well how the discord life is even newborn babies on discord seems to grasp 80% of the dark jokes adults do everything is acceptable on discord unless you make it a big issue with it by spreading false more than 60% on the discord is full of kids how can i accurately determine their ages while chatting Do you expect me to ask every single person on Discord for their age before continuing our conversation? If you're so concerned on being a minor just behave like one rather than just trying to act like an adult by swearing, using offensive languages, being racist, sharing private information and showing off your parents' money. These are the clear signs kids trying to be adults. If you're going to behave that way then don't even complain about adult contents. You all agreed the terms and policies yourselves. So in Kala's video, there's a part where it shows the DM between Kripa and Kala. In that, Kripa sent the NSFW GIF to him. Many people saw it and took it as a joke and in a light way. But imagine if it was me, I would have been defamed so much till yet for sending the GIF. So if they do it, it's a joke, and if I do it, it's serious. Nice logic though. See, I'm not blaming Kripa or Kailas, okay? I'm just highlighting the lack of understanding in such situations. Sending adult pictures or jokes doesn't make you a pedo. It's just a part of the humor. Everyone does it on Discord. It's not a big deal. It depends on how you present it to the people. The next accusation against me was that I was hitting on a girl named Jingi. Well, I don't need to prove much because Jingi has already clarified that it was just a rumor and a misunderstanding on both our sides that they created. You can pause and read the chat screenshot on the screen. But let me repeat the context once again for both the people who know and don't know. A few years ago, I was in a VC with Jingi and a few others. Initially, I mistakenly thought that Jingi was 17, but she later clarified herself that she is 14. Despite the misunderstanding we became good friends and I enjoyed her cute and funny personality. Later for no reason unknown to me Jingi shared her DM screenshots with her few friends. Subsequently someone leaked the screenshot and falsely accused me of hitting on a 14 year old girl. And just like the previous rumor once again baseless accusation spread unfairly portraying me as a pedo as they abused their admin powers in spreading rumors about me. They mispresented our light-hearted conversation like I'm being vulgar or hitting on her. <sighs> What can I expect from such kids whose minds are filled with so much shit to double mean everything, bro? Now, since all accusations like of being a pedo, let's logically address each point. First, let's clarify the definition of a pedo. Now, what is the definition of a pedo? The term pedo is a shortened form of pedophile. which denotes a person sexually attracted to children often involving the grooming of children now let's examine the signs of grooming that a pedo exhibits and see if they matches with my behavior first asking you to keep things secret now in both situations with haraka and jingi i never instructed either of them to keep things secret you can analyze both situation yourself by viewing the videos and screenshots to clarify So unfortunately this accusation against me is false. Second, trying to find out things about you. Now, once again, in both situations there hasn't been a single moment where I've been tried to investigate them. 
if i had it would have been came in notice by people and since it became a big issue it would have been easily came in notice to accuse of me but it hasn't so unfortunately this accusation is also not true third sending you sexual messages or images now i agree that i sent adder content but only to haraka not jingi during this time i was chatting with both haraka and jingi on same days and dates before the false accusation against me went viral if i was a pedo i would have been sent adult content to both of them but i only sent it to haraka i agree sending it to haraka but as i previously stated it was meant as a troll if i was truly a pedo i would have been sent to both of them it would have been mentioned in jingi statement as well if i did but it's not there so while it's true that i sent adult content to haraka it's important to note that i didn't send anything to jingi therefore this accusation against me is only partially correct but ultimately false fourth giving you gifts or compliments now obviously i can't send gifts because we don't live in the same country but i agree with giving her compliments but that doesn't prove that i'm a pedo jingi herself receives a lot of compliments for being cute and others might have complimented her for her facial appearance but when i called her cute i meant it in terms of humor and behavior not just appearance so unfortunately this accusation is also false making you feel isolated i never made jingi feel isolated i always spoke to her kindly i never had vc with her alone or separately she was always in vcs with many people mostly with her best friend named xz kalyan whenever i joined the group vc i would talk to everybody including her not just her making haraka feel isolated was different it was just to troll him as i mentioned before so this accusation is also false sixth threatening you <laughs> well i don't need to prove that i threatened either of them if i had just like before it would be easily came to light and led to accusation against me so this accusation is also false seventh things are too good to be true i never presented anything that seemed too good to be true i was decently good in both situations therefore this accusation is also false now you may be wondering why there's so much defamation against me why there's obsessed with targeting me so the answer is simple Before I learned about the new PVP styles I used to follow Technobred and Fruitberry's PVP styles not fully understanding how modern PVP actually works During that time I joined a server called PVP Moment there I mistakenly accused people who using modern PVP techniques as hackers because I wasn't aware it was technically possible since then they've been defaming me and because they were admins on popular discord servers it wasn't difficult for them to spread rumors about me to tarnish my reputation and these kids have many simpers who blindly support them just because they are admins trying to gain favor in the chat by using my name and making themselves feel important many followers like hirito ender akira plesa closer phobos versus countless others names simply believe that they're told without bothering to clarify the facts I didn't realize it was a ploy to defame my character. Initially, I thought it was just a harmless prank. If I had known, I definitely wouldn't have done it, causing it a really big issue for me ahead. These kids believe what they're told to believe. They don't even clarify whether is it wrong or right. But the real issue is that they spread the false rumors to others on a large scale. So that's why I had to make this final video proving myself not guilty. And I know that even after this video they're still going to cry and use the same rumor as an excuse for decades, ignoring all the three videos I've made including this. But I don't care about them. Their opinions hold no value in my life. I just wanted to prove my audience and friends right, which I have done. I've already lost many friends because of this rumor. They believed what they were told to believe without questioning it. Even Savage Beast with whom I did duotage was influenced by this rumor. That's why I had to make this final video and I appreciate y'all for watching.